That way they can hear. Just sit closer to the TV. Thank you very much. Oh, oh you're too nice. Thank you very much. Great to be here at the Grove. We waited a long time to play this place and we sold it out. Thank you for coming out tonight. <laughs> We're gonna have some fun here tonight. I, uh, I've been married now for 21 years. Now, that being said, if you had a job for 21 years, you'd know that job inside and out, backwards and forwards, wouldn't you? I can honestly stand here tonight and tell you after 21 years of marriage, I know no more about women than I knew the day I got interested in them. <laughs> I know one thing. Before I got married, I had a backbone. And I had testicles. <laughs> I know I had a backbone because I had an x-ray. <laughs> and I know I had testicles because I used to make my own decisions. <laughs> I could go the whole day without help from a woman. All of a sudden I got married and my brain went, uh -uh. <laughs> I can't even leave the house now without looking at my wife's one. Do I look alright? And I love when I get this response. Well, you're not I'm not wearing that, are you? <laughs> no. No, see, I was in the closet, and you weren't around to help me. So this must have been hanging right next to what you wanted me to wear. And I'm going to go change now. <laughs> I figured out, when you're involved with a woman, it's like being shot at by a sniper, but you don't know where they're at. It's like you got this grassy knoll that just follows you around. <laughs> See, ladies, I would love to stand here tonight and tell you that as guys, we think about stuff and we mull it around in our heads. We just ain't that deep. <laughs> <laughs> guys got three basic needs, ladies. Eating, sleeping, and sex. That's it. <laughs> And that is our whole day. Our whole day is consumed with getting to that next basic need. You ever watch a guy around a campfire? Watch him sometimes. Just stares at it. <laughs> Pokes it a little bit. Flips some sticks up on it. He's thinking. He's thinking, how can I get sex? <laughs> <laughs> See, guys, if we could go without sex, women would be in so much trouble, and they know that. But they also know this, they know we can. And women, good God, y'all are like camels. Hell, you'll go months. <laughs> You may not want to, but if this don't prove the point, by God, you will go the distance. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm about to decide if it wasn't for the sex, I could be gay. <laughs> Hell, then you're just hanging out with your buddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just when they get that look in a deer camp, like, hey, you're like, all right, I'm out of here. <laughs> I think they won't. I, ladies, I really don't think you do it to be mean. I honestly don't. I think it's just part of the game. Like, you ever watch a cat play with a wounded mouse? They won't kill it, because then they got nothing to play with. It's just women. Women are
are in control, fellas, and I'm going to tell you this, and I tell you this not to get a hoot and holler from the women. Women have the power, and that is okay. Because when you relinquish the fact that you have no control, fellas, then you get to be a god. You don't have to be the man and I'm head of the household. <laughs> Forget that mess. You can just be a guy. <laughs> it's great. Because when anything goes wrong, you just go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm just a guy. <laughs> a long time ago, when my wife and I got engaged, I said to her, baby, I think I know what the key to a happy, long marriage is. She said, what is, what that? is that? And I said, I'll handle all the hard decisions. You handle all the easy ones. And to this day, 21 years later, we ain't had a hard decision yet. <laughs> now back to what I was starting with, that women will set you up. And this is just part of the control thing. My wife was going through my car one night. She said looking for a map. <laughs> I That's know it's focus. Because every time we drive anywhere, she knows exactly where we're going. Has no problem telling me how to get there. <laughs> we could be driving back to our own house. And my wife will turn to me and go, you need, you need to turn, to turn left, left here. here. Thank God you're here. <laughs> Hell, I'd have been lost in a field somewhere. Just driving in circles. Cop comes up, what's the problem here? My wife ain't around. <laughs> I'm going to give you a warning this time. <laughs> Don't be driving without your wife anymore. <laughs> we could come up to a stop sign. My wife will go, you're going to have to stop. stop here. Oh, you saved my life again. <laughs> How can I repay thee, princess? <laughs> <clears throat> Which brings up another point. How come whenever I'm driving and I barely touch the brakes, out of the corner of my right eye, this is what I see. <laughs> what is... Dustin Hoffman couldn't act that good. <laughs> and like, that's gonna stop him from going through the windshield. I mean, let me tell you something. You are never gonna hear this on the news. And the woman would have survived the crash, but she didn't grab the dashboard in time. Back to you, Jim. <laughs> So she, see a lot of finger pointing going on right now. So she's going through my truck. She finds a pack of cigarettes. And, you know, she's been on me to quit, and I know I should, because it shut her up. So she walks in the house with a pack of cigarettes. Now, instead of saying what a guy would say, which is, hey, found these in your truck, you're busted. My wife walks in and goes, Bill. Bill. Are these, are these yours? <laughs> that, my friends, is what we call a setup question. She has given me the opportunity to lie. And I always figure honesty is the best policy, right, ladies? <laughs> oh, yeah. Kind of like when your parents used to say, if you just tell us the truth, you won't get in trouble. Hang on to that dream. <laughs> so I said, yeah, baby, they're mine. Now, this is the leap that a woman can make that a guy just cannot follow. She looks me right in the eye and she says, well, Bill, Bill if you're lying, lying about smoking, smoking, how do how I know you're lying about smoking? How do I know you're <laughs> Evil Knievel couldn't have made that leap. And of course, being a guy, I don't think before I talk. So I go, well, I guess you don't. <laughs> oh! 